I am pleased to uh, introduce this uh, morning session on uh, investigating the, the choroid. And uh, we will have uh, several uh, presentations on the same topic, so uh, we will have the discussion at the, at the end of the session. And uh, I will start with my presentation about the topographic variation of uh, corridor thickness uh, view on uh, swept source OCT in healthy eyes. You know that uh, a significant amount of information is already known about uh, corridor thickness and its variation with age, gender, axial length, diurnal circle. In healthy eyes, mean central corridor thickness is thought to be about 280 microns. That may vary from uh, 250 microns to more than 450 microns. And corridor thickness is known to be significantly asymmetric between temporal and nasal part of the fundus. Interest has also been focused on the relationships between the topography of corridor vessels and the local variations in corridor thickness in these publications. So the purpose of our study was to assess the topographic variations of corridor thickness in the posterior pole and beyond in healthy eyes to determine the location of the maximum thickness point and its distance from the fovea to correlate the, corridor, the corridor thickness variations with the course of corridor vessels, to establish typical pattern of corridor thickness map and to compare the corridor vascularity and its thickness. We examined 20 healthy subjects with no ocular history nor systemic chronic disease, 38 eyes in these 20 healthy subjects with normal fundus. The, age, the mean age was 35 and the axial length was comprised between 22 and less than 25 millimeter. We took fundus photo and OCT and OCTA was recorded on the, the top web source with a corridor map, several corridor maps, a cube of 9 by 9 millimeter, radial macular map with 12 B scans of 12 millimeter, and in, on OCTA, 9 by 9 and 3 by 9 millimeter. Here are two of the corridor maps we used. One is made with 12 B scan of 12 millimeter, and we look at uh, the uh, corridor thickness in uh, the uh, 6 millimeter uh, circle of the ETDRS uh, chart, 1, 3, and 3 millim 6 millimeter. And we also recorded uh, the punctual uh, thickness of the choroid in the 9 by 9 uh, choroidal map. Here are some results. Corridor thickness was always higher in the temporal quadrants than in the nasal ones, which is already known. The superior quadrants were thicker than the other on average. And uh, the corridor thickness was grossly symmetrical between both eyes. You see here that uh, the maximum, the mean maximum uh, thickness was found in the three millimeter superior quadrant of the ETLS chart after in the 6 millimeter uh, quadrant of the ETDS chart, and it was higher than the central uh, corridor thickness. We found also that um, there was a symmetric top-down symmetry uh, in only 56% of cases, and the symmetry did not depend on the mean thickness corridor uh, on the mean thickness of the choroid, and you see that you may have a symmetrical aspect in the thick, medium, on thin choroid. And of course, on the contrary, there was an asymmetric pattern in 44% of cases, and here too, it did not depend on the mean choroidal thickness. We also looked at uh, the correspondence between uh, the choroidal thickness and the pattern of choroidal vessels, and mainly veins, and we found that um, the symmetric patterns corresponded to a symmetric top-down arrangement of the choroidal veins, and the asymmetric pattern corresponded to an asymmetric top-down arrangement of the choroidal veins with oblique rotational zone offset up or down. And more specifically, in the majority of cases, 
the watershed zone between temporal choroidal veins was horizontal and passed through the macula in 60% of cases, but oblique watershed zones may be, might be superior or inferior to the macula with large choroidal vein passing through the macula. And uh, if we compare the symmetry between uh, the choroidal thickness and the distribution of the choroidal vein, there was a symmetric choroidal thickness pattern which corresponded to 20% of symmetric vein distribution, but in the asymmetric choroidal thickness pattern, 100% was asymmetric in venous distribution. We look also at the location of the thickest uh, choroidal point, and the thickest choroidal point was not retrofovel, I already see, said. It was in the superior part of the posterior pole in 60% of cases, 66% of cases, and only in the one millimeter central area in six in 16% of cases. And we, you see that uh, sometimes uh, the uh, thickest choroidal point uh, could be uh, either in the inferior part of the posterior pole or in the superior part of the posterior pole. We look also at uh, the relationship between choroidal thickness and vascularity, and there was no significant difference in vascularity between areas of thick, thin or thick choroid, we um, call vascularity index the ratio between vascular surface, the vascular lumen surface, and the choroidal surface, measured on B-scans perpendicular to the direction of choroidal veins and equidistant from the macula. So in this small series of cases, we have shown that uh, in uh, healthy eyes, mean choroidal thickness is the thickest in the superior and temporal quadrants of the ETDS map, Choroidal thickness values are strongly symmetric between both eyes. There is a substantial inter-individual variation in choroidal thickness, and in, in cases with actual lens ranging between 22 and 25 millimeter, top-down choroidal thickness was symmetric in only 56% of cases and corresponded to a symmetric distribution of the choroidal vein. Asymmetry corresponded to an asymmetric distribution of the choroidal veins, which may cross the macula in 38% of cases, and the choroidal vascularity was not different, significantly different depending on the choroidal thickness. There is already, already uh, several publications which have dealt with this uh, uh, evaluation of uh, uh, the choroidal thickness depending on the uh, location in the fundus and uh, the vascularity. In um, a publication by uh, Vasada groups uh, based on um, SDOCT, uh, it was shown that uh, there was large variation in corridor thickness between individuals. In a very um, sophisticated um, uh, paper by the Munich group using a, a swept source OCT prototype running at 100.7 megahertz uh, with um, only nine eyes, but very well uh, examined, it has been shown that the lumen of the halos layer seems to play a major role in determining the global uh, corridor, pattern, corridor thickness pattern. And uh, is uh, this other large series of cases examined by uh, Mogdi Moussa in uh, Egypt, um, it has been showed that uh, the maximum uh, of uh, choroidal thickness was in the superofoveal uh, area. And finally, uh, there is an interesting paper by Marie Cristina Savastano and uh, Bruno Lombroso trying to uh, classify uh, the uh, organization of the pattern of the uh, choroidal veins in uh, uh, different um, uh, typical aspects. And uh, they've shown, uh, quite, quite like us, that uh, uh, the symmetric pattern was found in only 50% uh, of cases. Our study has some limitation. There is a small number of eyes. Um, the classification between symmetric and asymmetric may be uh, partly subjective, and there is some degree of imprecision in the vascular measurement. However, we have tried to correlate various information on the choroid obtained on the same device, thickness topography, choroidal vein pattern and vascularity, information which are dispersed in other publications. So in conclusion, choroidal thickness varies mainly with age and excellence, it will be known. 
However, for the same age of excellence of and, and corridor, uh, for the same age or excellence, corridor thickness is highly variable. Symmetry or asymmetry are linked to the pattern of corridor veins, mainly in the halos layer. Vascularity seems relatively constant regarding corridor thickness. The reasons or the consequences of these differences are unknown. And the great difference which exists in the corridor vascular machinery which supply the corridor capillaries between normal eyes is not well understood. So thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you.